Hey, Fragus family, I'm David. I'm Jer. And we're the Fragus Bros. Coming at you again with another review with again with special guest host Jer. <laughs> Thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me. And today we are reviewing Lamp Black by Bruno Fazolari. Yeah. And for full disclosure, Bruno Fazolari gave me this bottle for review, so we're reviewing it. Yeah. And I have a video of the unboxing if you want to get a closer look of the actual bottle. All right, so let's get straight to it. Date introduced is 2013. Mm -hmm. It's classified as an aromatic spicy. Notes are sweet orange, uh, black pepper, bitter grapefruit, nargamotha, benzoin, vetiver, and inky notes. Now, what do you get of longevity out of this? Man, she's in for the long haul. Yes. Yeah, bruh. I think, I think 12 hours was still, still getting it pretty good. Yeah. How about you? Yeah, I would say, beast mode! <laughs> Beast mode! I should do it. Yeah, wow. it lasts a long time. Yeah. Yeah. What about projection? I didn't think that was quite as beasty. I would say back it down to maybe excellent. It wasn't mm. pushing out real, real hard. Now, my wife says it's beastly. Really? On me. She okay. said it was really strong. And I had two sprays one time. <laughs> so, I thought it was more in the excellent range. Yeah. She smelled me right after I put it on, though. Okay. So, you know, kind of divide the difference, I guess. But sure. I would say overall in the excellent range. Yeah. It's strong. That 30 mil will last you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's right, definitely. <laughs> Season, I would say this is great for fall and great for winter, and I think better for nights. Yeah. And purpose, I would say, really only formal. Depending upon the kind of man you are. Okay. Which is vague enough to annoy the viewer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to give it away yet. Or the reviewer. <laughs> or the reviewer. All right. <laughs> so what does this remind you of? You probably know by now that we've done a few reviews, so I had a set of fragrances to smell to prep for this. Okay. And yeah. Lamp, Lamp Black went to the end of the, went to the end of my wearing list. Yeah. Because I was scared of it. <laughs> I gave you a little warning. You did. You, yeah. You maybe skewed me a little bit, but yeah, you know, it, it went to the end because I wanted to find the right day to wear it. Right. Like I didn't want yeah. to wear it on a hot day, or a day where I was going to be like super close to people that I cared about their impression because it's it's a bit intimidating at first yeah. sniff, right? And it smells, uh, from the bottle at least, it smells, uh, let's go with the word mature. Yeah. Let's yeah. go with mature. Mm -hmm. And um, a little mothball-y to my nose. Okay. A, a little, uh, it, to me it smelled old. More than mature, it smelled old. Right. So then I wore it. And I will say that my feelings were more positive after wearing it than they were from smelling the bottle. You used the term camphorous earlier, yeah. and I think that it could apply here as well. Absolutely, yeah. Um, it has that quality to it, and it definitely has a thickness and a unabashed strength about it. I mean, it is, it is, it is not pulling any punches on what it's doing. Mm -hmm. But I do think that it comes across, or can come across at least, as a refined, mature man scent. Okay. Selic-esque shall we say, Tom Selleck, yeah, okay. that, that sort of guy. Yeah. Now, it's it's a bit more extreme than some of the other ones that we put in that camp before. So it's right. definitely on the fringe of like that respectable, masculine, mature scent. But if you can pull it off, it could be a good signature scent for a guy that wanted to smell like this. But I, it's hard to know who that guy is. And yeah. uh, it's, it's really tough. But I, I will say that it's not without its merits. It's just certainly not a 35-year-old guy's go-to scent, so. Yeah, I totally get what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, go into the name real quick to give kind of a, a, a little bit of a background. Mm -hmm. The name Lamp Black is the name of an ink that was used a long time ago. Mm -hmm. They used to make it from soot from uh, oil lamps. Apparently that's what they say on the box anyway. Okay. So it's supposed to be a really black, dark ink. So Bruno Fazolari, who has the coolest name, by the way. Right. Doesn't have <laughs> Fazolari. <laughs> Bruno Fazolari. It's just fun to say. It rolls it off the tongue. Yeah. So he's an artist mm -hmm. who makes uh, perfumes to go along with his art as companion pieces. So cool. I'm not sure if he starts it as a perfume or starts it as an art piece. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the order is, but they're, they're both companions to each other. So okay. this was a companion to a piece of art that he used that was made in ink. Okay. And I don't know if he used lamp black ink mm -hmm. for that, but it was an ink based artwork. Okay. A really cool idea. Yeah. I think just a really great conceit for the whole line. Yeah. Really, really neat. So this scent, man, it's intense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I will say it is really interesting. Yeah. And uh, it does. It reminds me of everything just black and dark. Right. So I get like pepper, mm -hmm. you know, black pepper. Yeah. I get like burnt rubber. 
Yeah. I get like asphalt. Right. Maybe even skunk a little bit. <laughs> a little skunky. A little skunky. A little, um, little weedy. A little yeah, skunky. Yeah, yeah. Uh, smoke. <laughs> yeah. And, um, you know, just anything dark black. I do get actually ink. I do too. As well, too. I do too. So there is like an inky type of smell in there. Yeah. It reminds me a lot of like cooking tar. Like if someone's mm -hmm. doing road work on the side and it's just it's just fresh tar being laid. You just got it. It really reminds me of just cooked tar. Yeah. Um, so there is like that really rough tar right. note on top. It is still really wearable, which is a really strange thing to say after I say all of that. Right. And I do get some of the notes mm -hmm. <laughs> outside of all the imaginary ones yeah. that, I, that I smell. <laughs> I do get vetiver. Mm -hmm. Vetiver is noticeable, and yeah. it's a really rooty, earthy, dark vetiver. It has to be, yeah. you know. Right. Um, I don't really get any of the citrus in there. No. It's just totally overwhelmed by darkness. Yeah. <laughs> what if he had not put citrus in it? What would this thing smell like? I mean, the same. <laughs> <laughs> it would smell the same. <laughs> Whenever I smell this, it reminds me of what I was imagining certain parts, certain other scents would smell like. Mm. So I remember whenever, a few years ago, whenever Bulgari Black was the rage and they were talking about how it has this awesome rubber note, yeah. you know, it has a cool bottle, it looks like a tire, right. everything, and you smell it and it's like, this is almost like girly. Yeah. It doesn't smell that... It's powdery. Yeah, powdery. Mm -hmm. It does have a little rubber in there, but it's like a rubber ball, right. like a rubber tire, like I was expecting it to be really rough. Right. And this kind of has a really more aggressive yeah. type of rubber smell in there. Right. Also too, like Amen. Yeah. Whenever people said Amen has a tar note, I smelled it and I'm like, I mean, it's a little rough on top, but it's yeah. not like tar tar. Right. This is like straight up tar. This is tar. Yeah. Yeah. Every fragrance that you saw from afar and you were like, oh man, I don't know if I can pull that off. And then you sprayed it and it wasn't that bad. This is what you were looking for. Yeah. The whole time. <laughs> right. This has a specific audience in mind. And mm -hmm. I was just talking to a friend about this. There is a certain perfumista out there mm -hmm. who likes fragrances that are just like offensive. Yeah. You know? Yeah. They like it whenever something smells like just extract from an animal. Right. Or something that they, they revel in the stink. Right. You know? <laughs> That's right. And this is one of those scents, I think. Yeah. It is really aggressive. Mm -hmm. It's very polarizing. And when I say polarizing, yeah. I mean, like 80-20, you know, <laughs> it's, it's yeah. really polarizing. Yeah. There's also like a learning curve right. here. Like you, you don't go into this thinking, oh, I think I'm going to really like this set. Yeah. You have to learn it. Right. You have to wear it. You have to earn your way through it. That's right. You know? Pay your dues. Pay your dues. Yes. <laughs> like it comes as no surprise to find out this is an accompaniment to an art piece. Yeah. It has the abstract nature that art so often does where it's, it's weird. But I think if you have that mindset, which I don't, I'm very vanilla, but like if you have that mindset, maybe you could appreciate something like this more fully. Yeah, you know, I will say that conceptually, he nails it. I think this definitely has to be worn on a really cold day. Mm -hmm. You know, don't ever wear this if it's gonna get above like 30. You know, <laughs> you know? I'm, I'm serious, this, yeah. is, this is one of those sets. Yeah. But I do think that there is a certain wearableness to it. Yes. So yeah. there's something about it that whenever I smell it, I'm like, I don't hate myself. Right. You know, I wear this and I still think I can still like this. Yeah. You know. Like Dave said, wear it, give it a wear. And then when you put it on, like I would say give it like 15, 20 minutes mm -hmm. before you make any judgments, right? Because I think there, there's something in the beginning, you acclimate to it a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I think you, I think some appreciation comes, not like love or affection for it, but just like, Oh, okay. This is this is better than I thought it would be. Yeah. Or maybe not as bad as I thought it would be is maybe the right way to say mm -hmm. it. Uh, it's it's an adventure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think one criticism that I would have with this scent is one that I would have with any scent that is like this, mm -hmm. that is really kind of a rough, dark scent. Yeah. And I think Sombre Negra by Yosh is kind of in the same category. Yeah. Um, is that I could really only wear this in certain occasions in certain climates. So there's like a very limited number of times that I could wear this. I feel like you almost have to judge this fragrance on the merit of its like impact to art, like its art value and not its not its wearability because it Yeah. I wonder what his intention was about the wearability. Like was he really trying to make a wearable fragrance or was this just like an extension of the piece of art? I think another thing that I would say too is that when you're wearing this it's very polarizing, yeah. so you are really going to, like, honestly, you're going to run the risk of having people think that you have, uh, like, you smell really bad. Yeah. Um, and I, I don't say that in a funny way. I mean, I'm serious. Yeah. It's, it's rough. Right. So 
Um, I don't think it smells bad. Yeah. But I think that other people are not going to get it. Yeah. I don't know what to say about that. You're right. It's polarizing. It's You're wearing it knowing this one's for me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. All right. So that reminds me, what do you get out of compliments from this? My wife did notice it and she asked her what she thought and she said, it smells good, but it's not for you. Yeah. So my wife is uh, typically, historically a fan of really masculine things. Yeah. I mean, smell, appearance that she always loves, really like rugged things. So it's more likely that she would enjoy this, but even then, even then not. It's just, yeah. it was too far on the outside of the, uh, too far in the, in the rough. But what about you? Yeah, my wife hated it. I mean, no surprise there. <laughs> yeah. It's super, super strong, automatic yeah. negative yeah. for my wife. Um, but also too, she not really a, she's not really a fan of overly aggressive types of scents yeah. like this. She likes cleaner, um, you know, fresher type of scents. Yeah. This is the complete opposite yeah. of that. So, mm. so yeah, she wasn't going to be a fan of that. Bang for Buck, this is $110 for a 30 mil bottle. Okay. Um, I think that's on the high side. Yeah. But uh, I think that's reasonable for a niche scent. I can't imagine you needing a full bottle of this. Like, if you want to yeah. try it, go in Tinsies with somebody and get, yeah. get you like a three mil sample and that'll do you good for a while because the, yeah. the application is going to be few and far between. Plus, it's super, super strong. Yeah. It's an eau de parfum, but I mean, it lasts like, a, like a, just a pure parfum. Yeah. It's a lot, I mean, you only need like one spray. Yeah. So a 30 mil bottle for one spray, a pop, that's going to last you a long time anyway. So yeah. I do agree with you. I think if you like it, you might want to see if you can just share it with a friend or something like that. That might be a better value. I think so. I think you'll probably use the last spray when the sun burns out. Like, yeah, like yeah. <laughs> our star dies. And yeah. then <laughs> lamp black. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so really quick, sorry about the interruption here, but in the course of events, we did the review of lamp black and we completely forgot to add a rating to what we thought about lamp black. And we may have actually recorded an ending for it, but it disappeared. <laughs> so uh, we don't have that. But I talked to Jeremy and I want to convey his thoughts and convey my thoughts about the rating system. For ratings, Jeremy rated it a three. He wasn't a big fan of it overall, but he can recognize the artistic value in it. It has a limited time and place for it and it is wearable and it is it has some nice features about it but it's not something that he would wear a lot uh, for me i'm also going to give it a three out of five i think it's a great fragrance in a particular uh, style of fragrances and that is that really rough rugged style and like i said i, I really think that there is someone out there a group of people out there who will really like this and wear it all the time i think it is really wearable in a certain way and still has that really rough um, edge to it it's very it's very much an edgy type of fragrance it's very artistic and it's very well done and i think it smells nice it's not something that I'll wear a lot, but I would actually wear it on certain occasions. So for me, I'm also going to give it a 3 out of 5. Sorry I couldn't have the ratings here at the end. I know it's a little bit out of, the, out of character for my channel here. Anyway, thank you for watching. What do you think of Lamp Black? Do you like it, love it, hate it? Let me know down in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. I'll love you for it. I'll see you next time. I'm Dave with the Fragrance Bros. And I'm Dave with the Fragrance Bros. <laughs> Bye. Thanks everyone for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to check out my other channel, Beast May Reviews, where me and a friend review high quality products for men. You might like it. Go check it out.